Okay, so I'm making my way to see Uncle. To be honest, I don't really know what his name is. All I know is he kind of looks like a samurai. When you see him, you'll know. Um, I just happened to stumble upon him a couple of years back. I've been going to him for a couple of years now, so I'm actually quite excited. I still don't know how to get to him exactly, but um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna let my gut guide my way. Excited! <laughs> oh my god, so I think I found him. <laughs> wow, I still remember, just like yesterday. This time it was so much easier. <laughs> Here we go. didn't know I actually love body piercings and I've actually come here it's my fifth piercing with him I've, I've had a couple um, although I'll tell you guys about later I've had like here here here, here. I have so many I'll show you guys photos but today um, I actually wanted to do something in my nape somewhere here Okay, so Wiley's actually like um, preparing his thing. So, why do I love piercings? A lot of people think that I love piercings because I'm addicted to the pain, which is so not true because pain means that I do it for the pain, but I do it for the piercing. It's just that it happens to be that it's painful to get the piercing. So, it's kind of like it's not about the means to an end, but an end to a means. Get it? Whatever. Anyway, so I'm super excited. Um, I guess when you really want something, it doesn't really matter how painful it is. And the way I always see it is, a broken heart is way more painful than a fucking piercing. So you may be asking, like, how many piercings do I actually have? I think I have about 13. I have like three here, one here, I have one in my navel. I think the most, uh, I think the most painful one that I ever got was the one in my nipple. I got that in Spain, and um, it was really nice. One of my good friends, Danny Aliaga, he knew um, one of his friends. I think from high school or college. Like they, at that time when I got it, I don't think there was like Instagram or there was, and I didn't have Instagram. We just took a couple of photos. So they did my nape and they did my nipple, and the nipple hurt. <laughs> but so worth it. I still have it. It's probably one of my most valued piercings. Um, other than that, everything has come and go. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna keep getting them, and getting them more and more and more. I actually wanted to get one on my tongue, but because I host events, um, I do worry that it might interfere with my lisp or how I pronounce things or maybe it might turn off a few traditional clients so um, because if you don't wear it for a long time it actually closes so those are some of the things that I consider um, the closest I ever got to my face was really here that was also one of my favorite ones but unfortunately I can't get them anywhere else because for obvious reasons so it's just gonna take about a few minutes um, okay, so let's talk about my other piercings. The do's and the don'ts. I have one here. You see that scar? I'm showing you a photo right now of where it used to be. But of course, you know, I also had one here. You also see the scar. And uh, the bad thing about it, obviously, I'm such an idiot. You know, you put your hand, you put your hand inside your bag, inside your pocket, so it always gets caught. And eventually, it snags and it hurts and it comes off, and it's just such a hassle. So always try to put it in places where, obviously, it doesn't always. Um, it's such a bother sound. And then I had another one that was right here. Um, I guess because I do a lot of um, at home or facial treatments for tightening. So obviously the skin here gets tight too. And the skin holding on to the, the, the rod actually got tighter and tighter and smaller and smaller and smaller until eventually like once again it just came off. And then I had two over here and he did them too. And uh, those were actually my ultimate favorites. Wow. If I could have them again there, I would. 
But once again, because you know you sleep and you're always like stretching your neck, eventually the skin stretches and then they come off. So you're thinking, Bianca, then why the hell do you keep doing it? I don't know. I just really like them. I just really enjoy them. So I'm so excited. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so he's basically measuring right now. Now I have an actually scar. I have a scar in my name. And um, he was saying that if I do it there on the same scar, it's going to hurt a little bit more. So he's asking if I want it above the scar or below the scar. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Pain is pain. So I'm just asking him like what looks better visually now that I have a little bit of a scar back there. I'm always still nervous. <laughs> It's the, I don't really think it's painful. It's more the pressure of the clamp. It's the pressure of his hands. Um, and it's the anticipation that like, uh, yeah. Every year, new piercing. Every year. Keep on going.